Hey guys, what's going on? It is GearAll500 from Light Level 7 here, and I am bringing you a tutorial on how to install Optifine 1.3.1 for Minecraft. Now, what Optifine does is it makes, um, well, it does a bunch of performance tweaks, and you can set it to insanely low settings if you have a slow computer, and you can squeeze another 10 FPS out of it. If you, uh, other than deep, like off of default Minecraft, if you have a slow computer. I know I used to do that a lot, but my computer's too good for that now. Um, or, if you have a good computer, you can have better than Minecraft settings. Like, you can triple the view distance, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, it acts as an MC patcher, so you can do HD textures while having your game running faster, so who wouldn't do that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, the first step to getting this mod is going to Google Chrome, or whatever you have. I use Google Chrome because I like it. And you want to search WinRAR. Alright, this program is what's going to allow you to uh, paste Optifine into your Minecraft jar. Alright, I have the links in the description, so you can click on those to get to the directly to the download link. But uh, those of you who are bad boys and don't like doing that, <laughs> you can do it this way. Click on the one that says uh, rarlab.com slash download dot t a uh, htm okay download that not download open that and you want to go down to whatever your language is this is where the link will bring you so go down to English if you want it in English or Finnish if you want it in Finnish or Hebrew if you want it in Hebrew or Norwegian whatever alright so I am English so I will get my English version uh, depending on what kind of operating system you has, have, you may have 32-bit or 64-bit. I'm not sure how you can tell how to do that. You may have to look up a different tutorial for that. But I know for a fact that I have a 64-bit operating system. And most people with newer computers do as well. So I'm going to install this one. Alright, once this installs, you're going to open this up and uh, it brings you to this page. So you basically select where you want to put this, like what... what uh, like where your destination folder is, and you click install. And that's going to install it. It's very simple. Um, if it has anything else, like click next or accept this, it'll say so, and uh, just read the instructions carefully, and you should get it flawlessly. I've already done all that, and I don't want to install it again, so I'm just going to close it. And now, the next thing, and the last download you need, is Optifine. Like that. Now, for those of you, once again, that are looking it up, it's the minecraftforum.net post. It's as of now it still says 1.2.5, but that'll change shortly, I believe. So I'm going to open that. And you want to find uh the Optifine Ultra. Uh I don't think they have anything else for 1.3.1, but they probably will later on. So there's the smooth one that uh doesn't have multi-core or whatever. I think Ultra doesn't matter. It'll run on anything. You can just turn multi-core off for PCs that don't have multiple cores, which most do. Um, here's a problem that I run into some of the time, and uh, Tristan helped me out with this. Um, sometimes it'll bring you to the forum and you're on page 1103, okay? And it looks like this. There's just this post poll thing and then a bunch of comments. And I got really frustrated with that because I wanted the download and everything, but I could not find it. But Tristan told me that you actually just go back to page one. And here it is on page one. Okay, so you want to download this. It's an AdFly link, this one. So wait for the timer. I have AdBlocker on for this video. Skip ad. Download Optifine. Right there, nice and easy. Okay, now I'm going to minimize this. No, I'm not going to minimize this. I'm going to shrink this and drag this onto my desktop. Alright, and you're done with your browser. No more internet. Alright, well actually you need internet for this next step. You open your Minecraft, and what you want to do is you want to wipe your jar so that it works. <laughs> Simplest put. You open options here, click force update, and click done. Now you will log into your Minecraft and it'll download a new Minecraft jar. You want internet connection for this or else it won't download anything as far as I'm aware. 
So once this is done, you're going to want to just close Minecraft. So we'll just wait for this. Wait for the splash. All right. So we've got a new jar. There's no mods in here. It won't get rid of your saves or texture packs. As you can see, I've got a texture pack here. And I've got a bunch of saves. All right. So don't worry about that. It just wipes all the mods off if you had any. All right. So you close that. And now the next step you want to do is... Go to your start menu and type in run. Find this here. Open it up. And you want to type in percent app data percent. All right? Another way to open the run thing is Windows key and R. That's how I do it all the time because it's much quicker than going into start and selecting run. All right? So you just put percent app data percent and click OK. It'll bring you into the roaming file in app data. All right, there should be a .minecraft file if you have Minecraft on your computer, which you should if you did that last step. So you want to open that up. Then in here, there's the bin folder. It's usually at the top. You click that, and you want to find your Minecraft RAR zip folder, okay? It may say Minecraft. It might say Minecraft.jar. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. You want to open that up. Now, a tip with WinRAR is that... Uh, after 40 days of the trial, which you downloaded, um, I don't know if WinRAR knows this, but if you could just click close, every single time that pops up, nothing will happen. So, I guess that's good. Bad for WinRAR, but whatever. Alright, now you want to open your Optifine and keep the jar open. Close that as well. Now you want to click File, Select All in Optifine, and drag it over so that you're not dropping it into any folders here, drag it over into this white space and and drop. If you have Minecraft open right now, it'll give you an error when you try to do that, so make sure it's closed. Make sure it's on add and replace files and click okay. Now, you've got all those fi all the Optifine f files in there and then the last thing you have to do is delete meta slash inf. Meta dash inf, sorry. And that will make it so you don't get a black screen on startup. Alright, you have to do that. If it's not working, it's probably because you forgot to delete that. I can't stress that enough. Alright, so you just close this. Open Minecraft. Log in. I'm going to go back to my default texture pack. And you're going to want to open video settings to see if you've installed it. And if there's a whole whack load of animations, details, quality, performance, and other, you've done it right. Congratulations. Round of applause for you. Good job. All right. Unfortunately, some people aren't lucky enough to have done it correctly the first time and might have to do it multiple times or just can't figure it out for the life of them. So if you can't figure it out, leave a comment in my video uh, telling me what you can't figure it out what you can't figure out if you have a black screen or anything really um, I will do the best of to my ability to help you um, if I can't help you I'm sorry I'm very sorry it's too bad because this is really my favorite mod every single update I cannot wait for this to come out because there's performance tweaks and you can make the uh, render distance further and everything render distance extreme it's crazy it's double the distance of far yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful mod. I love it so much. Alright, so that's how you install it. Thanks guys for watching. Give a like if you liked it. Comment if you didn't. Or have a problem with it. With, a, with it. Or my tutorial. And uh, until next time, I will see you later.